Bradford from Mellow. Comes in there. Brilliant, brilliant play, it really is. And if you're a fan of my playing in that formation, and they're like the, you gain so much confidence. Here's a hunt in the two of them. The two of them have chased it down, bang, there you go. And as you'd expect from the really home players, in bad possession either. That is an absolute fantastic thing. That was the pass was, and then the other home player, no, not bad either. Absolutely phenomenal, that. Right? Uh, explain the reason they played two holes and players, Alan. Well, you've got Mike on the right hand side, who's been prominent. He's been the one player that's got forward on that side, and it just gives everybody the freedom to go and play because you know you've got protection in front of your back four. They're protecting very well. The well they're, 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 they're they're been been they've been They've been sensationally good. I mean, we've hardly seen anything from Drogba, but we saw a little bit of cynical play from Lucio, didn't we? Just have a little tug at his bad arm, did he spot that? Yeah, I think that's already because I know Lucio is an excellent player and what he's been doing, he's been challenging Drogba, he's been going for him, he knows he's got to go surgery on his arm so you can tell he can see now. You know, he's got a lot of pain, but he's trying to show that he doesn't go anything bad. Yeah, yeah, but you can see from his face, telling that I got pain. That's what Lucio is going to do for him, and I don't think Lucio is very good at that. Okay, uh, well, England are now back in Rustenburg three days before D-Day. Uh, Gabby, what's the latest? Hi, Gary, hi, guys. You're yeah, right now, the players and Fabio Catello are discussing what went wrong against Algeria on Friday night. They resumed training this morning behind closed doors. Lily King, we understand, that got back to a little bit of light jogging. Uh, however, we have heard that Michael Carrick lives out of training in Fort Dakota. And um, the FA said it's something serious. We'll see uh, if he gets back to training tomorrow. Former captain John Perry was at the press conference today and issued a rallying cry. But you know, historically, the English have struggled to find favour in this part of South Africa. As England got back to work at their Rustenburg base today, they could be forgiven for hearing the sound of mocking laughter. This land once belonged to Paul Kruger, a farmer who rose to become the leader of the birds, defying the might of the British Empire for over a quarter of a century. A devout man, he believed his people were chosen by God, and he loathed what he called the barbarous enemy. Tonight in the England squad, meeting rooms, it's clear the airtime for them and their 